It's going Colors, and welcome back to the Journeyman with me, Funky Plays on FM 22. Please, please, someone help. Form has absolutely fallen to pieces, and we haven't won a game since you were here last. We're taking on Leicester and Rangers in today's episode. Hopefully, we can undo the defeat against Rangers and maybe get our form back. Because it's like I said, it's been less than ideal. It's not great. We're losing against some questionable teams. But if you do go on to enjoy this episode, do make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Now let's get into the video. So as you can see, since the EFL Cup final, we have been in just we've been tremendously poor against Stoke. We were terrible. Pedro Porro was the only player that played even remotely well. Nobody played well. It was shocking. Uh, we did have a couple of... I think we had a couple of goals ruled out for offside, which was frustrating. And then the Bournemouth game. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the Bournemouth game. We had Bateri come off just after halftime. Yeah, it was just after halftime. And then Jude Bellingham, within a couple of minutes... Went out as well. Um, who was it? Uh, oh no, there was Makoko came on, just was useless. But as you can see, they had two players sent off. We just could not score. Just we couldn't score. They played three at the back, and for some reason, we just could not break them down. Um, so I set up a friendly against Irlam because there was like an eight day break. As you can see, thirteen nil. Just some random shitter team. And Pintos picked up a two-month injury. I think it was two months. Um, yeah, he's out for nine weeks with a torn hamstring. So less than ideal. Um, it did bring a couple, give a couple of players a chance to get some form back. As you can see, we had three players get perfect tens: Adiemi, Ravella, and Makoko. Um, interestingly. Oh. There's nothing interesting going on. Um, Man United did lose a game recently. Arsenal, unfortunately, aren't losing. So they are keeping up with us. There's now a point difference between us. But we do have a game in hand, which we're about to play. Um, we're still playing the attacking mentality, because that's what I want to do. And as you can see, we have a bit of a situation here. Um, both our right backs are either injured or suspended. But Harry is out for five weeks uh, with sprained knee ligaments from the game in... in are against Bournemouth. Poro is suspended. Uh, Pintos is also injured, as I showed you. And Jude Bellingham is out for two more weeks with ankle ligaments. So, yeah. So we're starting with Falco in goal. Cujo is going to make his first, uh, his first start for us. He's started twice for England. Never started for us. Um, Oma Bamadele, Lopez, and Alvarez as our back four. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure this is a good idea, but this is what we're doing. Valverde and Blas in central midfield. Adiemi, Delaney and Simon behind Makoko. Um, Ruben Diaz and Marvin Gerrard are our only defensive options on the bench. Um, so, not ideal that we're having this situation. Ravella could potentially come off the bench. Uh, I brought him on against Bournemouth and he was shocking. Um, we are favourites, so act like it. Pick up where you left off from the last match. Because uh, Makoko did score a hat-trick against Irlam, was that her name? Um, but yeah, we've I've had words with the lads and they're just... They, they're just... It's just... Oh, Falco manages to make a save. Um, yeah, we've just been meh, really. It's probably the best way of describing it. Just not been great. Makoko, though, does find Simon. Blast back to Simon. Gets it across. Delaney. Oh, it's blocked by one of the defenders. And Gallagher clears it. Uh, speaking of Gallagher, I've tried to get him to change allegiances to play for Ireland. Because he is nowhere near getting called up to England for England and he just keeps rejecting us so I think he is adamant he is just going to play 
his entire career, never getting an international appearance. Um, as you can see, Spurs are currently sitting bottom of the league, which is quite nice. Uh, West Brom have started their attempt at a great escape and are now three points clear of Wolves. So there is still a chance that everything can get relegated. And I'm still really hoping that that happens because that would be quite funny for Spurs and Everton to both get relegated in the same season because who would have thought that the two of them would have got relegated okay we finally have a highlight um i did see that blas is having a poor game as is makoko and adiemi it's not ideal i thought adiemi would have a good game after how well he played in the last one why is delaney playing left back i've not changed the tact oh reese nelson hits the crossbar We've had three shots on target. They've had one, but they look the likelier to score. And they've had more possession. That is very unlike our team. Um, Alvarez does take a throw. Simon finds Delaney. And Delaney's fantastic finishing ends with exactly what you would expect. Nothing. Um, Leicester have the ball. Oh, cheeky bit of back heel. And now Leicester are on the attack again. Delaney. Why is Delaney playing left back? What have I done in my tactic that Delaney is playing left back? He's he's done well there. Uh, Blast gets a clear but Makoko can't win the ball. Now Harry Barnes cuts clear and just puts it over. We're going to go in at half time. Under the cosh. They've still only had one shot on target. And we've had a 0.97 XG. But this is absolutely unacceptable. I expect you we have no control in midfield start doing better hmm hmm Blas is definitely leading the line for first player to be taken off I'm going to swap Adiemi and Makoko in the hopes that it'll do something. Somebody will do something. Uh, yeah, because it, they're not, nobody's playing all that well. Hector Lopez is having a decent game. Alright, we're going to pop back to positive. Maybe going slightly less attacking. Will give us an opportunity. Uh, Bristol City have had a player sent off. Which is interesting. I don't think Bristol City are going to escape now. I think it's pretty clear that Bristol City are destined for the championship. Uh, Delaney was playing right back for a short time. What? Like, I don't understand what Delaney is doing. Um, it'd be nice if we could, you know, close, close down. We are playing a pressing tactic. Like, we press. Delaney is back playing right back. Oh, he's cleared it. Can't find any of our players, which is just... This is very frustrating. Very frustrating indeed. Makoko is really not playing all that well. We moved him out to the right. And he's still playing really poorly. And Blas is also having an absolute mare of a game. We've had four shots on target. I'm going to demand more. Alright, we are going to make start making changes. Uh, Blas, you are not having a great game. I want to put Delaney back into midfield. Have him as an advanced playmaker. I'm going to bring on Castiel for Blas. As an advanced forward, Adiemi can be a complete forward. Do I want to take off Makoko? I'm taking off Makoko. Uh, Christian Douglas is going to come on for him. We're going to leave one substitution for on the off chance that something happens and we need to bring or to make a change for injuries or something. This is not ideal. Chuck a bit of encouragement at the lads. Leicester again have the ball. Cujo does get a clear. Just kicks it straight to their goalkeeper I 
Alvarez, five foot, all five, five foot seven of them. He's five foot seven, isn't he? Uh, Douglas finds Valverde, gets a forward to Adiemi. Adiemi's twelfth of the season. I think it's like his fourth in the league. He's padding his stats in the cups. <laughs> in the cups we're playing, not really scoring many goals in the league, but it's fine. He's scored a goal that's more than I could have hoped for. Cujo clears the ball. Christian Douglas. Oh, Soyuncu is going to get himself sent off. So it's made our lives just a smidge easier, you would think. We born with the two players sent off and we couldn't do anything against them. Uh, we do have one substitution remaining. And Simon is literally dying. So I'm going to take Simon off for Ravella. Inverted winger. Confirm those changes. Go. <clears throat> uh, Christian Douglas finds Cujo. Who hasn't had the worst first start in the world. Christian Douglas finds Castiel. And he was offside. That's fine. Our final substitution is after coming in. Ravella is going to get a chance. He's already playing a seven. He's done something quite good. Douglas. Oh, cuts it back to nobody. Oma Bamadele <clears throat> playing a 7.4. We haven't seen him do anything that could have led to him having a, a good rating, but that's fine. I swear to God, if Adi Emi is after giving the ball away and we concede, I'm going to be pissed. Uh, interestingly, Reese Nelson had an offer from Trabzonspor. Oh, Burns has a shot blocked by Falcao. And I think that's Cujo. Yeah, Cujo. Was uh, chasing after him. Yeah, man mark him because he's getting too involved. Cujo finds Valverde with his throw. We actually found a teammate. Valverde back to Cujo. There's plenty of space lads. Hector Lopez took quite a speculative effort. Didn't expect that from a centre back. Uh, Lopez heads a clear. Castiel back to Lopez. Our advance forward is very deep. Alvarez. Alvarez. Alvarez, Ravella loses the ball. Ugh. Okay. We let Reese Nelson shoot from there all day long, and that'll be fine. I already told Cujo to mark him. Falcao to Oma Bomadele. 30 seconds remaining. Adiemi wins the header. Douglas. Oh, he's put Castiel through. Castiel. That's not even like a bad first touch. That's just a shocking touch in general. Two time next gen. Two time next gen. Two time next gen. Cujo. Just has. Just kept a hold of the ball. Adi Yemi got man of the match. I'm going to be happy with them because. To be fair. We've not been in great form. A win is a win, regardless of how you get it. But we're going to be back in just a second for the game against Rangers. 2-1 down from the first leg. Please, let us do something. Right, so now it is time for us to take on Rangers in the second leg. We really, really do need to, uh, to win this game. Because if we don't, we're out of the Champions League and you can't win it if you're not in it. So, uh, injuries and suspensions are the same as they were in the last game. Uh, Poro is back for this. Or actually, Ruben Diaz is suspended for this one. Um, Rob Lachlan is going to sit on the bench again today. But we're going to start with Falco in goal. Poro is back to start at right back. Ama Bamadele, Lopez and Alvarez finish the back four. Valverde and Blas in central midfield. Douglas Delaney and Simon behind Makoko, who... Is no longer a five star player. Uh, so two changes from the last game. Kujo is just a little tired. Adiemi, even though he's man of the match, kind of forgot that happened. So, um, what is going on? Why is my mouse not working? Okay. I'm going to thrash my arms and tell them we are Rangers. After what happened last time, I'm going to tell everyone to go make me proud. I'm going to point my finger at them and be like, you make me proud. Match preview. Let's go. Skip all this. Why has my mouse decided to stop working? I will never know. 
it does this from time to time. But never normally when I'm playing Football Manager. It's normally, I think the last time was when I was playing CSGO. Uh, Simon, clear through on goal. And he just makes life a little bit too easy for the goalkeeper. But everything is fine. It's all fine. Don't worry about it. I'm easy breezy. Felt very day as our captain for today. Simon is up to a seven. Uh, but Rangers do have the ball. We are at home. So I'd expect us to do better today. Lopez heads a clear Delaney. Not quite sure. That was a tad over hit. Um, he will want to prove that he's good enough to play for us. Makoko keeper just gets touched. But Cresswell is not taking any chances. Uh, Delaney is... In the Ireland squad for the game against Lithuania. And Simon's just put it over. As is Omabuma DLA. So we do have two of our players on the pitch currently. Who are going to be playing against Lithuania for us. Speaking of Delaney. He has the ball. Keeps running through. But Simon's picked it up. And the keeper. Their goalkeeper is having an absolute worldly of a game. Their goalkeeper. Is playing amazingly. Makoko. Hits the back of the net. Makoko has scored a goal. Oh. At one point he was. I think it was six goals ahead. Of the amount of games he played. He is now. I think before this game kicked off. He was two behind. So he really did hit a poor. Of, a patch of poor form. Uh, but this does bring the game back to 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. It's. Oh, it's really frustrating. Okay. Encourage. Most of the players are happy with that. Um, Valverde is not having a great game. Which is interesting. Because I would have thought that. Maybe it's because he's captain. He's got the ex extra expectation. Uh, McMahon does win the header. But Alvarez jogs back towards the ball. And then decides to do a, a little spin in front of it. Alvarez finds Delaney. Puts through with Christian Douglas. He, was, he looked onside. He looked very onside. Very onside. I'm going to say he was very onside. Yes, he was. He was very onside. No need to look to see. That's his 12th goal of the season. He was exceptionally onside. Nobody needs to worry. Uh, Simon heads it away, but nobody's there to pick it up because he headed it to where he should have been standing. Um, Rangers go all the way back to their goalkeeper. Big ball forward. Balco. Okay. Everyone kind of turned away from the ball. It's like... Eh. Don't really want to have a Rangers player running down the ball when none of my players are looking at it. Douglas picks up the ball, whips it across. Simon somehow gets there and heads it into the back of the net. And we are 3 0 up 37 minutes into the game. I think that deserves a bit of praise. We've uh, turned the, the 2 1 defeat to a 4 2 aggregate lead. And uh, we scored two in two minutes. Um, I think that was Douglas headed it back, or headed it towards their goalkeeper. It might have been the defender, but regardless, we've come away with the ball. Valverde's put Douglas through. It would have been a penalty, but Makoko has scored his second of the game. His first in, or his he hasn't scored in so long. This is what we needed. We needed Makoko to come back and play well. Cresswell has not played. Great in this one. Patterson has now been sent off just before half time. Thankfully, they're imploding, it would seem. Um they're playing wide centre back. I wonder I'd love if I could tell you like if they were playing like um like attacking wide centre backs or if it's defensive wide centre backs. But it's fine as it is right now. Valverde is the only player in our team not playing at least a seven. Or well, Blas has decided that he wants to join him on that. Um, has then again decided that he doesn't want to. So we do have Santos on the bench if we need to bring on someone for Valverde. Uh, Rangers have had two shots and only two on target. I think the lads remembered that we were going for a quadruple. We can only go for the treble now. Which is uh, it's disappointing, you know. I'd like to win everything. Like we have a very we have very low score because or in the Hall of Fame. Because the majority of the trophies we have won don't carry an awful lot of weight. 
um, like the Chinese League One or whatever it was called, as you might imagine, doesn't have the biggest score. Makoko slots away for his hat trick. They're going more attacking, and we're just scoring goals. Uh, Morales been taken off now. Um, yeah, we we never needed to worry. We do need to make. I was going to say we need to make a change. We don't really need to. But I'm going to bring Santos on for Valverde. Um, we're going to have him play as, as a ball winning, midf ball winning midfielder on support. And I think Simon or Delaney will be the next ones to come off because they're the most tired. Um, don't really want to take Makoko off when he's in good form because, as I said, it's been a hard time getting him there. Delaney brings it down for Douglas. Simon back to Blas. Alvarez. Can he get it across? It's blocked by Malcolm, who's playing. He was playing a five point. I think it was a five point nine. Uh, might have increased that to a six, having, you know, dispossessed the player. Santos. I like. I like. I like the idea. I like the idea. Train his best. Santos picks up the ball again. Delaney. Delaney's going for a run through. Simon. Had the entire goal to aim at and went for the one part that the goalkeeper was standing in. Top class. Absolute 100% knowledge. Simon, one of the best players in the world, just kicking the ball at a goalkeeper, hoping they can beat him. Uh, Delaney finds Santos, but his shot is blocked. Or his cross is blocked, I should say. Blas finds Delaney. Delaney's true on goal. Noel Delaney, it's six nil. We never, uh, we was never in doubt. We left them win the first leg just so we could have something to play for. Right, I think it's time we made <laughs> another couple of substitutions. Delaney did just score. But we're going to bring on Castiel, and Simon can come off for Adiemi. Go, Castiel, not really an advanced playmaker. But it's fine. I might just move him in the, for the final like 10 minutes to play as a second striker because they are down to 10. Lopez letting the ball bounce around him. He's that comfortable, that confident. Christian Douglas puts Makoko through. Makoko, beautiful first touch. Overdid it though. Tried to make life. He tried to get too fancy. He was like, I'm Mr. Fancy. Uh, I'm going to put Castiel on the right side. Normally I put him on the left. He's not been playing that well on the left side of the, of the striking duo. So it's going to give him a chance to have a little bit of a run around. See what he can do. Can he score? Can he? Can he? Um, oh, Malcolm's actually down to a 5.5. Oh. <laughs> not a great day at the office. Lopez. Let's head it over. It's going to give the lads a bit of praise. Final couple of minutes. 6-0. 7 to an aggregate. It's like... <laughs> they've gone route 1. Don't think going route 1 is going to make that much of a difference. But it's... It's fine. Uh, we did have a youth intake, actually. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention. It was shocking. Like, really, really bad. Not even like, oh, you know, could have been better. It was just absolute dross. Um, Gus Page is like the only decent one other than that. Pretty crap. We have a couple of Irish guys came through. Two, was it just the two? Yeah, just the two. We have a Nigerian, we had a Swede, a Belgian. I think we had a, yeah, we had a Swedish guy. That's not great. Uh, it was a poor intake. That's an understatement. Um, so I don't think the draw for the Champions League quarter final is until when is the draw for the quarter final? Uh 21st. So you're gonna have to wait to find out who we're playing in that, but it will be the next episode. Boat legs. Um yeah, boat legs, why not? Why not? Boat legs. Who are the teams that are gotten through? Um Arsenal, Man United, Barcelona, Os Bayern Munich, Roma, Milan, and Juventus. So an interesting group of teams. Hopefully we'll make it to the end of it and we'll win for the first time. 
Be Man City's first ever Champions League win if we can do it. Sounds pretty good to me. So if you did enjoy this episode, do make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with all of your friends. Let me know who of those teams do you think we're going to be playing in the next round. I'm going to say Barcelona. Thank you very much for watching, fellas. Have a fantastic day, and I will catch you in the next one.